So today I want to talk with you about how I do these short videos. And first of all, you can probably see Buddy up there, um, right up here. <laughs> and uh, so first thing I did was to map out the general topics that I want to be talking with you about in these short videos. Um, I asked myself the question, if I had six months left to live, what must I share uh, that I've learned about authentic business over the years? Authentic business is what I coach my clients on. And I, so that's sort of like the, the main question. And I came up with uh, six basic topics. One is enrollment, which is the activities you need to do to get enough clients in your business. The second one is content, which is the activities that allow you to serve the public, whether they ever become clients, attract your ideal audience, and also explore your authentic voice. Third one is service improvement, so that you can keep improving your services, your client experience, so that your new clients can come primarily through word of mouth, because that's the easiest way to market, uh, but it takes work to improve your services. Fourth one is renewal, so that you do the practices that allow, you, that allow yourself to be energized, personally sustainable, so your, your business can be sustained. And the, and the fifth one is financial skills, and the sixth one is productivity skills, like time management, organizing information, that kind of thing. Okay, I came up with these six major topics, and I basically said I'm going to keep talking through these six, maybe sharing one technique or one idea per video until I, I finish everything I want to say. The second thing was I tied this uh, activity of recording this video to an existing habit so that I'm much more likely to do it. Because if it, if it became an extra thing I had to do, it would be, a, a, it would be, a, it would, um, be kind of a struggle to create that habit. So it's tying it to one of my, uh, the, the longer walk that I do with Buddy each day, uh, where I bring him to a place where he can be off leash and I'm usually, when he's off leash, I'm usually you know, reading or listening to a podcast. I thought maybe why as well, might as well do these short videos while, while this is happening. So that's the second thing is tying it to an existing activity where, uh, or, or for you, maybe it's after a particular activity, maybe after breakfast or before dinner or something where it's, it's sort of like a trigger that you, reminds you to do it. The third thing I did, let me actually share with you the third, the third piece is how I'm actually doing this. Um, I'm using, to record this, I'm using an iPhone 5, which is already several years old. The iPhone 5, I'm using the, the standard, whatever the default app for recording video is on iPhone 5. Um, and then I'm, in terms of the, um, the sound, I'm just using the, the default headphones with a mic, of course, that comes with the iPhone. And, uh, and then I upload it to two places. I upload it to Facebook and to YouTube. For Facebook, I use the Facebook um, app on the iPhone. I click on it and I, I sh click on share photo and then I choose the video I want to share and then I write something about it. That's one of the things I've discovered is I don't, I didn't, I never loved writing blog posts, but it's much easier for me to record a video and then just quickly type on my iPhone the summary of the video so I don't feel so much pressure, but it ends up being like little blog posts, right? So that was a, a side benefit. So I, so important thing is Facebook uploading videos only allows up to 25 megabytes. And I noticed that at least for the iPhone, th th that means the video needs to be about four minutes or, or less. It can be, I think, up to four and a half minutes. So I um, uploaded to Facebook using the, uh, using the Facebook app on the iPhone. I uploaded to YouTube using the Photos app, the default Photos app on, on uh, the iPhone. And when, and when I click on Share of the video, there's a YouTube version. And the final thing is that um, it's taken me practice to keep these videos short enough. So I usually take about three takes on my walk on, you know, each day. You know, for whatever reason, the first take might not work. The second take, I forgot I needed to say something, and the third take usually works out. So um, with that, I hope this is helpful. I'm always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.